Hey, welcome back to thedrinker.co.uk with me, Pete Turner, for another one of my roundups, my seasonal roundups of all the UK supermarkets. And the season we're talking about is the winter 23 going into the spring of 24. And these are my six picks this year from Tesco. Tesco, probably the biggest wine retailer in the country, um, a really broad range of wines. And actually, they've really been focusing on the sort of sub 12 pound bracket which is where we all buy our wine that's the the, the price bracket the U uk consumers tend to buy their wine in um, and they're doing really really well it's it's the hardest category that bracket uh, to buy wine for and tesco are really hitting the mark there really very well so go to my website and you'll see my recommendations for all of their list and the previous vids too there's some really good uh, seasonal uh, recommendations from previous years so this time around we've got two reds two whites a rosé and a fizz and we are starting off in italy this is just called vino rosso d'italia italiano it's four pounds fifty the branding's pretty basic the wines i don't want to say pretty basic but it's four pounds fifty and it's pretty much uh, turning miracles it's lovely and pale it doesn't say what the grapes are and it doesn't say where in italy it comes from but it does have a really pleasing black cherry red cherry nose mm. and there's some lovely cinnamon there and some earthiness maybe a little touch of vanilla in there too it's quite basic quite straightforward but at four pounds fifty that is a perfectly perfectly acceptable lovely red wine on the on the palate there's not a long long finish and there isn't a great deal of structure in terms of tannin um, but it's an easy drinking lovely looking simple italian red wine so there you go it's it's not going to set your world on fire but it is an easier uh, companion to a pizza or a bolognese okay staying in italy uh, this time is going to be a bit of the opposite this is nine pounds fifties worth this is mille fiori uh, and it's a passimento comes from just north of Venice. It's 9.50. Um, first one was 11.5%. This one is 13.5%. And it's much deeper, much darker. A Passimento wines are made from partially dried or dried grapes, which really intensifies the, the, the flavour and the sugars. And it smells beautiful. There's a little bit of uh, bonfire smoke about it. But there's lovely sort of uh, charred notes and black cherry and damson and stewed fruit stewed dark fruit it's beautiful mm. it's rich and generous and there's some residual sugar to it it's not what you would call sweet but there's certainly some residual sugar in in there and but that supports the fruit and there's some lovely high acidity too so it's a really well balanced really complex wine i think it looks fabulous i think the bottle looks great it's nine pounds fifty and it's a great sort of treat wine lovely saturday night wine dinner party wine lovely stuff okay so staying in italy still we're again back down to the cheaper end of the market this is vista castelli trebbiano d'abruzzo four pounds 75 a bottle uh, trebbiano is the grape abruzzo is the area it comes from so think of where rome is and it's out towards the east of rome so it's going down towards the east coast of rome and it's beautiful pale lovely light wine and it's got a lovely uh, lemon peel lemon pith lemon zest uh, nose to it It's dry and fresh and simple and really, really drinkable. And at 4 75 that is a cracker at the price point. Again, like the red, not going to set your world on fire, but it's a lovely, lovely drop. Fresh and dry and pretty. It's not going to blow your head off. It's simple and easy, um, but a, a really, really good winter sort of staple house white. Lovely stuff. Keep a bottle of that in the fridge all the time okay so next along different kettle of fish altogether this is tesco finest uh this is their mosel riesling it says steep slopes on the side comes in at 725 german riesling it's deeply deeply unfashionable for no good reason really than sort of historically there were a lot of really sort of weird and quite poor medium sweet sort of libra milch type uh type wines in the 70s and 80s this is a class above and it's got a really lovely sort of slaty mineral nose to it 
but there's also something sort of floral there a little bit of sort of i want to say lily of the valley talcum powder about it i want to say old lady's handbag but you know what i mean mm. it's fresh and dry and the acidity is really high but the the aromatics are really high too so again a really well balanced wine tesco finest riesling mosel riesling do try and fall back in love with Riesling. Do fa fall in love again with Germany. That is a world-class wine at only £7.25. Super, super stuff. Do check it out. Okay, so for Rosé, bit of a big brand. This is Wairu Cove, East Coast Rosé. doesn't say, it's New Zealand. doesn't say where on the East Coast of New Zealand it is. It's eight to 25 And again, it doesn't list the grape varieties, but it looks really beautiful and pretty. It's a lovely, lovely looking wine. And it's got a lovely peach and apricot nose to it. And that becomes raspberry in the mouth. And it's again fresh and light and beautiful and pretty. And at £8.25, I mean, it looks great. It tastes great. That's a perfect, perfect, lovely wine. That's your party rose for the winter time there. And last of all, this is Barigny. Blanc de Blanc. Again, it just says it's from France. Don't know where in France it is. Blanc de Blanc suggests that it's Chardonnay. Um, and it's a simple fizz. And it's 4 99 And there's a good reason I've included this. So, here it is. Really pronounced green apple nose. And there's a little bit of that apple on the palate, but not a great deal. And the reason I've selected it at 4 99 is that, that is your cocktail fizz. So if you like a blini, if you like a mimosa or a buck's fizz, that is the fizz to choose. It's classy enough that it drinks well on its own, um, but it's neutral enough that it will work really well as a base for a lovely fizz champagne, so, uh, uh, fizz cocktail. So if you're after a cocktail, that's the one to go for. So there you go. Those are my six picks from Tesco. Uh, give us a like, share and follow. Let me know what you're drinking. Check out all my other vids on YouTube um, and enjoy your wine. Cheers.